on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. For the first time in six years, Illinois basketball is taking the court as a ranked team. It's been one week since they last played a game, and they're looking to pick up right where they left off and continue a three-game winning streak. The number 24, Illini, welcome in-state rival Northwestern to the State Farm Center. First matchup of the season between the two schools. Now, Wildcats are thinking an upset early. Pete Nance, three from the top of the key. That gets the game at ties it at 21. Now Miller Cop jumper Wildcats lead 25-21 midway through the first and the Illini close the half on a 17-9 run then Trent Frazier hits a three that's his 1,000th career point for Illinois the 50th player to do so and former head coach Lou Henson and his wife Mary approve their sitting court side in it. this one the Illini lead 38-34 at the break now Illinois is hanging on to a slim, knee, slim lead and it's Georgie Bichon Shanishvili for the one-handed flush, 60-55 Illini. And then after a Wildcats 3, Andres Feliz with a pretty dime to Kofi Coburn for the poster. Illini up four. Now later, Illini going for the dagger, and it's Bashanishvili from downtown, and it is good. Illinois was up nine, but Northwestern doesn't go away. With under a minute, A.J. Turner hits a three, and it's a three-point game, but then it's Ayo Desumu time, just as he's done all season. He hits a deep jumper to extend it to six, and the Illini hang on to the lead, 75-71. Frazier leads the Illini with 16 points. Desumu right behind with 15, and Kofi Coburn just a few rebounds shy of a double-double in the Illini. Now 13-5 and five this season. WCI 3's Craig Show has the full report from the farm. Playing their first game as a ranked team in more than five years, the Illini survive a scare from in-state rival Northwestern on Saturday. The Illini tried multiple times in the second half to throw the knockout punch, but the Wildcats just kept getting back up. They've done this with everybody. I mean, midway through the second half against Michigan State, it's a two-possession game. You know, they have, they've had very few nights where, where teams have been able to just deliver that knockout punch. But once again, when the game was on the line, the Illini went to number 11, and once again, number 11 came through with a late jumper and two late free throws. I feel like it's just about seizing the moment. When you get in the moment, you can't let the moment get bigger than you. You have to just fall back on your preparation and just rise to the level of your preparation. And um, that's what I just try to do in a, in a late game situation. In the win, Trent Frazier became the 50th player in Illinois history to surpass the 1,000 point plateau. He needed 11 tonight to get there. He got that in the first half, finishing with a team high 16 on the night. Oh, that means a lot. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've worked hard for this. It's just another milestone, but uh, I just got to continue to get better um, and finish out the season. He also didn't have any turnovers today, his sixth game in a row without giving the ball away. So the Illini enter the national rankings for the first time since 2014 this week. The last two times Illinois was ranked in the polls, they lost the next week, dropping out of the polls. Illinois should be ranked in consecutive rankings for the first time since 2012-2013 when the polls are released on Monday. Reporting from the State Farm Center for your Illini Nation, Craig Schott, WCI3 Sports.